hello everyone welcome to the new video so today we will discuss uh, the answers for the uh, interview question that i got in my client round so uh, the batch the shell scripting question i will discuss uh, to count the number of files which contains the specific word and uh, that uh, we will discuss and one uh, the sql query that i got uh, to get the seventh highest marks so basically i'll give you some hint uh, so that you guys can do it first of all whenever we are in a table whenever we want to get the highest marks so we have to sort down the table in descending order if we have to uh, get the number into you know get the lowest then we have to sort down it to ascending order so we because we have to get the uh, you know uh, seventh highest mark so first we will uh, sort down into descending order so from descending order the seventh row we need okay so we have to limit uh, we have to put the limit that only seven uh, you know when we are descending when we are uh, uh, sorting it out in descending order so only seven uh, uh, you know uh, lines should come from the table once that is done we'll use a sub query to invert this means then uh, we will uh, you know uh, 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 then we will uh, sort down the table you know in ascending order so that this seventh row goes in upside and we can again put the limit of one and get that uh, you know uh, our seventh highest uh, uh, number or marks so yeah you can try it out so yeah let's go uh, today we will be discussing discussing the answer of the shell script that i have told that i got in client interview that count the number of files containing the word username or any word and then uh, uh, count uh, tell the count of the files so basically how we will proceed with it uh, we'll uh, so i'll write the code uh, run it so that you also get the idea and also whenever you get the question in the interview and they ask you to write then how will you start explaining how will you start and how will you be interactive during it because you should not be like quiet and just uh, lost in writing the code and thinking you should keep on interacting with the interviewer so that you get the idea if uh, that how is uh, everything going and if uh, our inter interviewer also gets an idea that you are uh, you know uh, the idea of the thoughts that you are uh, trying to implement or whatever uh, uh, thoughts you uh, that is coming into your mind uh, express it so that uh, even though if you are not able to write it but you are able to uh, give the logic and everything so interview gets the idea that a person knows how how it can be solved so yeah let's start so basically our question is uh, to count the number of files containing specific word okay and in uh, in that uh, in any path uh, that we will define so basically first we will start with the shebang line so uh, tell the interviewer that why shebang line is used because uh, it tells that in which uh, shell our uh, code should be uh, executed or compiled or uh, you know uh, it should be executed with that shell so and that's why we define this line and uh, then we can define uh, the word so instead of uh, you know using the typing the word again and again we can define it under a variable and then uh, we can also define the uh, directory in which we want to search uh, uh, like uh, un under which we want to search the files containing this word so we can define a directory then uh, the file count uh, that we will give for this 
so dollar sign is important if we are mentioning uh, because this will be a command which uh, will be having type two. so yes we will define it inside the bracket so the grep word will be used for it because we are we have to grab this word so grep r1 because we have to grab it from the uh, you know uh, from the child files also which are inside the uh, if there are parent folders inside this there are child files from there also uh, we have to check that if this word is there that's why um, uh, we are using our word then we have to count so wc is for word count so whatever how many uh, files we will get after that we have to count the number of lines so wc hyphen l means uh, whatever this uh, this command will output the uh, files which will contain the uh, uh, this word username uh, so uh, So one thing I missed, we have to also mention the directory. I forgot because in this directory only we have to search. Yeah. So it will output the files uh, which will contain the word in this directory and then it will count it. WC means count the number of lines. After it will give the count that these many files have this word. Then just we have to echo that uh, number of files containing so it should be a meaningful message the word is file count fine when we will run it so basically this is an online compiler that i'm using so it is giving me zero because there is nothing but yeah in this way you when you are uh, telling your answers or when you are writing the script start from you know defining uh, the uh, uh, why shebang line are you you are using why are you defining variable then what word what command will be you will be using grep or what you will be doing so in this way uh, the interviewer will be will be uh, coming to know that yes these thoughts are going into your mind and if you are going into wrong direction also he will try to correct you so yeah i hope uh, you know this is clear to everyone and you uh, uh, you came to know that why we are using this uh, why uh, we are using grab why we are using wc word count why we are using l because it is word count the number of lines l means lines so that's all for today's video i hope you liked it uh, please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye